Today we're gonna to do a walkthrough tour of the Rosemary model located in the 55 plus community of Crestwind here in Palm Beach County, Florida. This is located within the town of Westlake, Florida that's located more or less in the center of Loxahatchee, Florida. This home offers two bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms with 27, 2,765 square feet under air, total square footage of just over 3,500 square feet, it has a 226 square feet covered lanai area. And throughout the video, I'll go over all the standard options that comes with the builder. I'll go point out the upgrades of this home. And at the end of the video, if you want to fast forward, I'll go over the base price of the home, the lot premium price of the home, what it costs to build a pool, the homeowner association fees, and what it covers and so much more information throughout the video. Now, let's get started on today's video. If you have any questions, reach out to me, but let's go. All right, we just walked inside the Rosemary floor plan here in Crestwind, the 55 plus community in Westlake. Once you walk inside, you'll notice the tray ceilings, the extra trim work. So what I like to do throughout the video, I like to point out all the upgrades, what is standard. I just want the video to be as informative as possible for the viewers that are viewing this to have a better understanding of what to expect when you're building new construction. So there's no surprises. So number one, the builder, the standard tile is gonna be 18 inch by 18 inch white tile, or I think they have a couple variations. I've never actually seen it because they never put it in their model homes. But this right here is the den. It's right off of the front door. The den is 13 feet, 10 inches by 11, 11 inches, 11 feet, five inches. You can always close this off, make this a media room, an office. There's so much you can do with this room right here. Now to the left of the front door, this is where, it's gonna get a little confusing, but I'm gonna make it as simple as possible. You have a half bathroom right here which if you look out that window, that's the walkway to the front door. Now over here is gonna be your laundry room. Pretty spacious, it has a sink. Lots of cabinet space in here. Now standard options with this builder all the bedrooms and the den will be carpet. If you want to upgrade to tile, um, porcelain floors, the wood plank style flooring, that'll be extra money, of course. So for the closet space here, this is going to be your standard shelving in the closets. I would recommend if you want to do something fancier, consider doing it after closing. You probably save a few thousand dollars hiring somebody separately, sorry my voice just went out there, hiring somebody separately to do it. Now this is the second bedroom. The bedroom has a full bathroom inside, so this would be a good in-law suite, or just a good second bedroom, second bathroom, however you wanna use it. This bedroom is 14 feet eight inches by 12 foot two inches. The ceiling height in here is 10 feet, and you should be able to notice that it has crown molding. That's gonna be an upgrade. Just keep that in mind. Now, the next room we're gonna to go to, they call this the club room, but there's an option to make this a third suite or a full bedroom with its own walk-in closet, full bathroom. And if you notice, they have the farmhouse style door right there. I'm not gonna try to close it. Last time I did that, I smashed my finger. So again, this room has carpet. This is gonna be standard with the builder. And if you notice up there, there's no crown molding. So that would be standard from this builder. Now this is the option to put in a full third bathroom in this room. Normally they call this a club room and now it's a third suite. Beautiful tile to the ceiling. Again, they're gonna have their standard tile and they're gonna have their upgrades. Oh, let me go over one other thing. So this is gonna be quartz countertops. The standard countertops here with the builder is gonna be granite. They have, I think, eight variations or eight styles of granite. 
So again, coming to the design center here with the builder is the best way to learn once you sign a contract, what to expect to spend for upgrades here. All right, so right here, we have the dining room. Dining room is 13 feet, 10 inches by 11 feet, three inches. Definitely decorated very nice. Remember, all these homes are usually professionally designed and decorated or finished. They just kind of show you the options of what can be done. Now, one thing I'd like to point out, these are hurricane impact windows and doors. These are very thick, solid windows and doors. One thing I'm impressed with with this builder is they didn't go cheap on the windows and doors. A lot of builders will put in lesser quality windows and doors while they're up to today's hurricane wind codes and the Florida codes. It does save them a few thousand dollars in the construction process. Now this is gonna be the great room. Great room is 19 feet by 23 feet, six inches. And the extra work up there in the ceiling, that definitely will be an upgrade or an option. So just try to remember that. There's the dining room over there and the den in the middle of the screen. And if you like this format of the walkthrough tours or the style that I'm doing, please take the time to give it, give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, leave comments, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am a licensed realtor here in Palm Beach County, Florida. I can help you buy, buy real estate, sell real estate from Palm Beach up to Port St. Lucie. So Palm Beach County, Martin County, and Port St. Lucie County, or St. Lucie County is the correct way to say it. So you have your um, casual dining area over here. Beautiful kitchen. So I'm gonna point out some things here in the kitchen so you're fully aware. Again, quartz countertops, that's what most people go with. Not many go with granite anymore. So you have the burners are gonna be gas. Whereas your oven, of course, is gonna be electric. You got your microwave there. Now the standard cabinet height, the upper cabinets are 36 inches. These are 42. Those are gonna be an upgrade with the builder. And the second station, that's gonna be an upgrade. And also the crown molding to finish everything off. Again, these are all upgrades. So I just want you to be informed of what you're looking at. This is a good size island. They're using Moen quality, if you can see it, fixtures. Got your dishwasher there. And here's your view from behind the casual dining room area overlooking the great room. And again, if I didn't say it already, the ceiling height here is 10 feet. And the doors are eight feet. So the doors are eight feet and the opening as we go into the owner suite or master bedroom, those are eight foot doors. So you'll notice the dark color wood style plank flooring. Again, that's an upgrade. That's, that's pretty common in most of the homes. That seems to be the trend and the style right now. Now we're in the master, be master bedroom or master suite. It is 15 feet by 17 feet with a cathedral ceiling. So again, that trim up there is extra. And you do have a door right out to the covered lanai area. And just a reminder, if you wanna to get to the nitty gritty about the price, the cost, and what everything includes here, you can skip to the end of the video It'll be about two to two and a half minutes long. It'll go over the base price of the home, average cost to upgrade the home, the pool, the cost of a pool, the HOA fees, and what it covers, and a few other uh, topics to consider. Get your walk-in closet here. 
not the biggest, but it's a decent size. And then the other walk-in closet's gonna be smaller for sure. And let's go into the owner's master bath or bathroom suite, whatever you wanna call it. So you got his and her sinks, one there, one there. Lots of natural light in this uh, bathroom as well. Stand up shower. Again, this is definitely an upgraded tile in here for sure. And got a soaker tub over there. And the head or toilet, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's walk outside to the pool area and take a look. So before we got it, so the covered lanai area, it's 226 square feet of covered area. You could definitely screen this in if you wanted to, so that you don't get any bugs in here. And if you wanted to, you could do like a little summer kitchen out here. You already have the gas hookup, you got the electrical, and you got all the plumbing set up already. So the summer kitchen, of course, would be extra. So if you notice, there are lots of windows and doors overlooking the pool area. Now, when it comes to building a pool, if you're looking to build a pool, the average cost right now to build a pool around here, you're gonna spend 120,000 to 170,000. That's been the average over the last 12 months in this community. And just keep that in mind. So if somebody tells you, oh, 60, 70 grand, you can build a small pool. If you watch my walkthrough video of the Lido floor plan here in Crestwind, that pool, probably about 70, $75,000. I hope that helps you out. Sorry, I'm walking through a bunch of bushes over here. But this is definitely a nice pool. If a pool is your thing, if not, you have more outdoor backyard space, that's all, if you don't want the pool. All right, let's go inside and we'll go over the base price, the upgrades, and some other things that, you know, are good information for you to understand. All right, as promised, let's go over the base price of the Rosemary model. This does not include the lot or the lot premium. The base price is $633,990 as of early February, 2023. The lot premiums are ranging between 55,000 to 165,000. I just don't think you can put the Rosemary model on one of the less expensive lots. So I would say 75 to 100. If you got a lake view or somewhere along that line, expect to spend more money for one of those lot premiums. Now also too, when it comes to upgrades here, the average buyer, spends between 15% and 25% on top of the base price of the home. So let's keep it simple. If the home is $600,000, you're gonna spend anywhere from 90,000 up to $150,000 for the upgrades on the home, give or take a few dollars, of course. Now, building a pool. I know I talked about it earlier in the video, the pool, Anywhere from $120,000 to $170,000 is the average price to build a pool. The homeowner association dues in Crestwind are $299 a month. There is also the Westlake portion of the HOA dues is $51.72. So it's just basically $351 total for all the homeowner association dues. Now that covers inside of Crestwind, high-speed internet, irrigation or water irrigation for your lawn, lawn maintenance and care. Crestwind has its own clubhouse, pickleball courts, fitness center, dog park. It, there's so much to do here. And then within Westlake, you have Adventure Park. You have a dog park there. There's so much to do. And Westlake is growing, which is part where Crestwind is at, sorry. There's so much construction going on. There's a Publix being built right on the other side of Seminole Pratt Whitney. I'll put it in the video, hopefully, if I don't forget. 
But there's so much going on here. This community offers a lot. And also Crestland, once again, it's a gated community. It's the only 55 and over community here in Westlake. So I hope this video was informative for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have a few more videos coming out soon for Crestwind. I'll have some stuff coming out in the Avenir community and the surrounding areas of Palm Beach County up to Port St. Lucie. If you like the video, take the time, give it a thumbs up, smash the like button, leave comments, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All my contact information, my name is David Rogers, I'm a licensed realtor. All my contact information will be in the description below. And why don't you follow me on Instagram as well, because I post a lot more shorter walkthrough tours as well. Now, we'll see you on the next video.